hi everyone welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today uh, we will discuss about az900 certification couple of questions and the trick how can we prepare for the exam okay in the last video i have uploaded one of the one of the do uh, documents which can help you you know to clear the az900 exam okay if you are getting the help please do subscribe and contribute with the youtube thanks please go and watch the last video for az900 certification okay definitely you will get the help today i am going to talk about some kind of tricks how to you know uh, you know uh, uh, complete a couple of questions with the single tricks okay so let me start so i have created a flow chart okay to understand the better way so whatever the question for the azure support plan okay i have created one of the best flow chart and you just need to focus on this flow chart and based on the flow charts you can clear at least 20 questions whatever the questions till now asked in azure uh, 900 all are can be covered based, uh, with the help of this flow chart for the support plan whatever the questions till now they have asked okay so let me explain this flow chart so first of all so azure support plan have some kind of you know uh, categories uh, from the microsoft okay so there are four or five categories so like the basic plan you cannot get any kind of support so there is no support for basic plan okay and the for developer plan only the via email you will get the support and there are some more support plan like a standard professional direct and premier support okay where you can get the via the email and as well as the phone so engineers the microsoft engineers will available over uh, over the phone and as well as the email only for the standard professional direct and premier so you need to just keep in your mind these flow charts and based on flow charts how we can cover the cup the questions uh, we will we'll see in a later in part of in video so just need to focus on the basic we don't have any support developer only we can get the email support standard professional direct and premier we can get the help of email and phone okay similarly we have you know uh, the cost uh, hierarchy so how how microsoft is charging based on the support plan okay so cost order is something like the you know uh, in which support you you will be have charged from the microsoft okay so for basic it's like a you know uh, increasing order so basic developer standard professional direct and premier okay so the most costly is premier and also you need to keep in mind premier basically used for the uh, architectural uh, views if you want to you know develop your own um, data center or something like that uh, so if you want to ask microsoft please provide me the architectural view so that kind of support you can get in a premier okay and that is most costly so cost order is something like that basic developer standard professional direct and premier this thing also you need to keep in your mind increasing order basic developer standard professional direct and premier and based on this you can clear couple of questions okay now we can see the questions whatever the question i am going to show you all already asked in a az900 exams already uh, you know uh, it's uh, asked in a couple of times several times whatever the support related question these are the questions only okay the first question is you know the support plan solution that gives you the best practice in health okay so uh, you can go with i am not going to read so i am just focusing the lines what are the things actually so the question is saying if uh, you know uh, if it is required to change you can go to, go to change otherwise you can ignore it i think i
okay so i got to know so what is asking actually it's asking the the cost things you can see access to billing information at the lowest possible cost is a standard plan it's asking your questions what have we have seen in a cost chart the basic lowest cost charge uh, is the basic one not a standard right so what is the correct answer should be here basic i have highlighted in a yellow if you go here that's the reason i told you you need to keep in mind all this order basic developer standard professional direct and premier okay in every exam microsoft will twist the question question will be same okay just you just need to focus uh, some kind of twist they will do and the answer will be same but you need to just understand okay the logics what are they are asking the billing information at the lowest possible cost is a standard plan support plan if it is required to change change it in answer otherwise you can go with the no change so yes it's required because standard is not at lowest cost so basic is lowest cost so answer is c okay the next question is in which azure support plan can you open a new support request okay so when we can open a new support request so first is premier and professional direct only only two they have considered see see the logic how they are trying to confuse premier professional direct and standard only the fourth one is premier professional direct standard developer and basic c and the c is premier professional direct standard and developer only answer is c i am just explaining why d is not covered see in a d they have uh, key, uh, included the basic also so basic you cannot get any kind of support that's the reason the correct answer is c why a b is not there because they have mentioned only the premier and professional answer c they have mentioned whatever the you know uh, plan is available for support so all plan is there in answer c option c okay that's the reason is correct answer is option c here you can get the, see the azure standard support plan is lowest cost option receive 24 cross 7 access support plan in general by phone okay lowest cost option in general support access support plan in from okay the azure standard support plan here you can see the azure standard support plan is the lowest cost option 24 cross 7 yes standard is a lowest cost plan that's the reason apps option a is a, you know uh, correct answer because in a basic there is a no cost right so if you go and see the cost plan basic no cost developer standard standard why because it's a 24 cross 7 developer you cannot go 24 cross 7 okay the next is your plan your company plan to purchase azure subscription oh, well okay and the company support policy is stated that azure environment must provides an option to access the support engineer over the phone email company requirement is support engineer should be available over the phone and email so you need to recommend which of support plan need to choose so your recommender you have recommended a basic support plan so does the does this meet the goal no because basic we don't have any support so, so it's false so option b is a correct answer okay similarly you can see a uh, company requires over the phone or email okay engineers required and you have recommended premier support plan yes you can get the support in a premier support plan so it's correct answer if you can see here also your company requires phone or email what are you you have recommended a standard support so yes a standard support we can get the engineers over the phone or email your company budget as a subscription plan uh, requires engineer phone and email you have recommended premier support plan yes we can get the support plan in a premier 
and the last is your company plans requested an architectural view of an Azure environment from Microsoft. The company currently has a basic support plan. So it's like a, a company having the basic plan and they need you know architectural view of an Azure environment. So they have requested to Microsoft. So what plan should be there for you know uh, providing the architectural view. As I told you earlier also Premier. Premier is a much costly if you can see here that's the reason I have mentioned here Premier used for architectural. So that's it actually. So what I'm trying to tell you guys by keeping this you know flow chart in mind you can clear up whatever the questions asked on Azure support plan you can clear either it's related to support or either it's related to cost okay 10 to 15 question you know which is regularly asked whatever I covered couple of question I tried to cover in this video these questions only will ask or these type of questions only will ask some kind of twist they will do I agreed but if you keep in your mind this flow chart definitely you will crack okay so well that's it for today hope you got it please watch the previous video also you can get the analysis or as well as you know a number of questions I have uploaded if you complete that questions definitely you will crack the is it 900 thank you